Well, two young artists are featuring a unique twist on nature. In today's weekend showcase, one focuses on the urban landscape, the other on the countryside. Together, they make up a show called Rust and Wax. Back to nature, back to the basics. I hope people kind of, kind of pull that from it. When you look at Alex Wozniak's work, look closely for the real thing. It could be sand in a painting of a farm field, or tiny pieces of evergreen in rows to simulate plants, or even real pieces of a barn. If I can especially take materials from places um, that I remember memories from when I was a child, that can mean even more. As a child, Alex remembers taking long trips to northern Minnesota and what he saw through the window of a car. Kind of seeing the countryside pass by uh, these long three and a half hour car rides. The natural design of farm fields stuck with him and what he's doing now in his Brooklyn Park garage is reproducing them with a third dimension using melted wax and color from melted crayons, all designed to give a painting depth and texture. Almost kind of like a three dimensional um, aspect on, on the canvases. He has dirt in his and I have actual rust in mind. Artist Matt Dooley gets inspiration from what he sees driving around the city. Nature at work wearing away at the urban landscape. That brown streak there is rust. It's actual rust. I make my own rust paint, which I'm going to keep that to myself of how I make it. Where some people see decaying bridges that need repair, Dooley sees the basis for art. Mother Nature creates a lot of artwork. Together, they are the Rust and Wax Show at North Hennepin Community College. <laughs> Young artists say with real elements in their work, it's a unique way to appreciate nature. They're very organic, and they involve the actual material that they represent.